y'all. I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with you, man. This is Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get going on today's video, y'all know what to do, man. Hit that like button, bro. Put your seatbelt on when you hop in my car. If you come through and view the video, be sure to hit that like button, man. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and share the video. And I want to chop it up with y'all and talk boxing with you, but I can't do it unless you leave a comment. So be sure to comment down below, bro. Leave a comment so we can chop it up and talk boxing. Also, if you want to have me hop on the panel, or you want to collaborate with me, or if you're a subscriber of mine and you have a certain subscriber request video that you want me to cover, man, let me know, bro. You can do that by reaching out to my email. The email is knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com, bro. Again, it's knockoutboxing8, the number number 6, at yahoo.com. But let's get it popping because we got some news, man. We got some news. So I've been covering a little snippets of Bob Aram's interview with Barbershop Conversations as I've been going through it. And I got another thing I want to cover with y'all and talk to y'all about, man, um, with what he said about this whole Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury thing. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Barbershop Conversations. They obviously do great work over there, you know, and, and, and get great interviews and they got great content. So shout out to them, man, for providing this type of information for us and asking the questions that fans want to know the answers to. So Basically asked Bob Aaron flat out, what's going on with Tyson Fury and um, Deontay Wilder? And Bob Aaron let it slip, bro. He admitted they still in arbitration. He's hoping for a decision in May, but they're still in arbitration. He said at worst, it could lead to a potential payout for um, Deontay Wilder, but he doesn't expect an injunction to be filed. He says, truly, I don't expect for an injunction or anything like that. A matter of fact, I don't want to paraphrase. He says, no, really and truly, nobody anticipates that there will be an injunction. At worst, there might be a claim for damages. I think it was scheduled that we finally get a determination sometime in May. I can't go into that. Listen, bro, a couple of things. When a liar tell you, no, really, truly, like when you go, no, for real, I'm telling the truth this time. Truly, this is what's going on. They don't believe shit they say. But one thing that that, that is certain, he's still in arbitration, bro. And ain't shit moving until that shit is over with, bro. And I believe that that's why we ain't got no fight date, no venue for this Anthony Joshua Tyson Fury non-announcement announcement. It's May 30th, bro. They signed the contract on, on, I mean, it's March 30th. They signed the contract March 13th. Said they had 30 days. I'm still on countdown. I'm still looking. I ain't seen shit. But anyway, back to this video, bro. So he doesn't anticipate an injunction. For those of y'all that don't know what an injunction is, man, it's basically an order where you can stop a person from doing something or stop an entity from doing something. That's important in this case because if the if the arbitrator grants Deontay Wilder an injunction to block the fight of Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury, that means they won't be able to fight per the court order. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what an injunction is. It's like when you block somebody or you block some company from doing something like the best example of it is like for my Dallas Cowboys. So Ezekiel Elliott, he had got suspended by the NFL, but while he was appealing his, his, um, his suspension, he was able to get an injunction, um, while they were going through the appeals process and he was still able to play in games. They were able to block the NFL suspension and he was able to play, you know, in six games until he eventually lost his appeal and just ended up like sitting out in the middle of the season for a suspension or whatever. But that's what an injunction is, bro. You blocking you blocking somebody from doing some shit to you. You know what I mean? And so um they Bob Avery says he doesn't anticipate that that's what Deontay Wilder is trying to do and that he's just trying to get claims for damages. I think that's bullshit, bro. And I'll explain to you why. Like if you're just trying to get money for something. If you're just trying to pay somebody off, that's like, that's easier, bro. You don't spend a year coming to a number that you want. You know what I'm saying? You don't spend all this time coming to a specific number that you're negotiating with to try to get paid off. You know what I'm saying? If he was just fighting for money, bro, if he was just fighting to get paid off, it's simple, bro. This is how much money I think I would have made in the fight. This is how much money it's going to take for you to get me to step out the way. Boom. Boom. It's done. It don't take that long, bro. The fact that this is going on for months and months and months and months and months, right? The fact that the that, that Tyson Fury was supposed to fight on December 5th and didn't. The fact that Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua have had an announcement, non-announcement, where they're saying, oh, we got the deal signed, but they ain't giving you a date and giving you a venue. You know what I'm saying? They're going right up to that line of announcing the fight without actually announcing the fight. 
You feel what I'm saying? The fact that they doing all that, that leads me to believe that Deontay Wilder's in that mode trying to get his fight, bro. He trying to get his get back. And if you know the type of person that Deontay Wilder is, again, from the outside looking in, because I ain't never met the man. Never met him a day in my life. But from the outside looking in and how he carry himself, he want, he, he, he seemed like the type to where, yes, he values money. Don't get it twisted. He values money. But just based off of, of, of what I've seen in interviews of him and how he moves and how he carries himself, bro, it's some things that he plays over money. You know what I'm saying? It's certain things that he value more than money. And to me, some of those things is like, you know, his honor, bro. You know, his honor and his and his and his his view of himself as a warrior, bro. And it, and his honor, he felt like his honor was broken that night. You know what I mean? He felt like as a warrior, he didn't put put on the best performance. And I think he wants to he wants to get that fight. You feel what I'm saying? And it makes sense because if you in his shoes, if I'm in his shoes, you go for the fight until that shit is just absolutely not a possibility. And then if there's no way you can force him in the ring, then you go ahead and you take the money, bro. You take the money. But he ain't in that mug going for a payoff. If he was just going for a payoff, that shit would have been came out. So the fact that that shit ain't happened yet, bro, the fact that, that they still going through the shit, according to Bob Abram, who has all his interests invested in Tyson Fury, to be able to make that fight with Anthony Joshua, according to him, they still ain't got no decision yet. You feel what I'm saying? And they still ain't got no decision for months now. They talking about it's going to end. We might not hear nothing until May. We might not hear nothing until May. And I'll tell you right here on this channel, you will not get an Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury fight announcement date. You will not get a venue from them until this shit is settled, bro. Because that shit can be used against them, man. It's simple. You feel what I'm saying? If, if you in arbitration right now, you know what I'm saying? You trying to make some shit, you trying to make some shit happen. You could use that shit against them. You could say, hey, man, they announcing a date and a venue and shit, and you ain't even gave us a decision yet, judge or arbitrator or mediator, whatever. You haven't given us a decision yet, and they over here trying to announce some shit. They talking about they got a date and a venue. That shit can be used against you, bro. It's millions of dollars on the line, literally. Literally, it's millions of dollars on the line in this case, man. You know what I'm saying? Millions. Whether the fight gets made or not. Whether Tyson Fury ends up having to be forced to fight Deontay Wilder or not, it's millions on the line. So they ain't so 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 they ain't finna do that shit, bro. I'm telling you. Watch watch April 13th come and go, and we still ain't got no fight date or no venue, bro, for Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Watch it come and go. And a lot of you dudes is gonna be looking like fools. A lot of you dudes is gonna be looking like fools. But this news from Bob Arum um should open a lot of eyes, cause it's a lot of you dudes out there saying that Deontay Wilder done retired, right? It's a lot of y'all saying that Deontay Wilder has no legs to stand on. It's a lot of y'all saying he already lost arbitration. It's a lot of y'all saying that he need to move on. But you just heard it here from the horse's mouth. You just, if you go look it up, Bob Aram is telling you that the shit is still going on. There ain't no decision been made yet. You feel what I'm saying? That they ain't expecting some shit at least until May. You know? So you gotta you gotta pay attention to this type of shit, man. You gotta pay attention and you gotta quit. You gotta quit pushing that agenda. We talked about this shit yesterday, man. Just seek the truth and let the let the shit play out. You feel what I'm saying? That's what we're gonna do on this channel. We're basing our opinions off of facts. The fact of the matter is, obviously Deontay Wilder had a leg to stand on in his contract, or they wouldn't be in arbitration. They wouldn't be in arbitration right now. Obviously, something ain't going right with Tyson Fury on his side because he ain't fought as long as Deontay Wilder fought. You feel what I'm saying? He was supposed to. He was supposed to have like two fights. He said he was gonna fight on December fifth. That shit didn't happen. They've been saying that this Anthony Joshua Tyson Fury deal has been 95 percent done for six or seven, eight, nine months now. Like a long ass time. They've been saying that shit, and the shit ain't shook out yet, bro. The shit ain't shook out yet. And Bob Arum is, is giving you a look behind the scenes, and you got to put all this shit in the context and put it all together. Tyson Fury said there's a lot going on behind the scenes. And then now here we are with Bob Aaron saying they still got some arbitration shit going on. That that's still going down. So all of this shit, bro, is lining up to where like, yo, you might want to, y'all might want to hold your horses. You might want to wait for this shit to play out because you could be made a fool out of. You know what I'm saying? And I could be wrong too, shit. I could be wrong too. I could be, I could be, you know, on the wrong side of this. But damn it, I'm going to stand on my shit. And until I'm proven wrong, bro. Until this shit is announced, I'm rocking with it, bro. I'm staying where I'm at. And I'm telling you, man, 
the shit ain't nothing going to happen until we get a decision on what's going on with Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, bro. That is what is holding up the heavyweight division. That is why so far, bro, it is about to be April. It's March 30th, bro. It's going to be April this week. You feel what I'm saying? That's four months into the year. And at this point, the biggest heavyweight fight that we have a date and venue for is fucking Andy Ruiz versus Chris Ariola. But meanwhile, some of you are out here promoting and, and, and hoping for Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury and holding up the damn division. Call me crazy, but I'd much rather see the division not be held up. I'll take Chris Ariola and Andy Ruiz. Give me Usyk versus Joshua and Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder, and then give me the two winners in mega fights for undisputed two-fight deals and shit. Give me all them fights, bro. Give me all of them. Give me all of them fights. You know, like shit, the, the division's being held up because of this bullshit right here, bro. Because as fans and as people and as promoters and as boxers, we don't hold nobody to integrity and to honoring their word. And you got people doing court cases and shit to try to not honor their word. And here we are, bro. Here we are. So, hope y'all paying attention to what Bob Aaron is saying, man. The shit is still in arbitration. Deontay, excuse me, Deontay Wilder still pushing, still moving forward. You know what I'm saying? And Bob Aaron anticipate. It sound like he anticipate losing. He hoping that they don't get an injunction. But shit, that would be the smart thing for Deontay Wilder to do. If he's granting an injunction, that mean they can't do shit. That mean they can't do shit until. This shit is taken care of, bro. And I believe that's what's going on. But anyway, bro, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. What do y'all think of this statement by Bob Aaron, man? Admitting that Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury are still in arbitration. You know, what do y'all think about this whole injunction piece? And what do you think about Deontay Wilder potentially taking a payoff? I don't think he to the point where he's trying to take a payoff. I think that's the last resort for him. I really think he wants that fight, bro. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Comment down below. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share the video, bro. Put your seatbelt on when you hop in my car. And if you want to have me hop on the panel or you want to collaborate with me or you want me to do a subscriber request video, um, you can reach out to me on my email. That's knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com, bro. I appreciate y'all watching this one. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out here. Peace.